Hey, air sign, what's up? We're looking at March 26. I got a lot on the docket to do. The monthlies for April will start coming out. I have already done Aries because <clears throat> it's your birthday. So that's kind of cool. Um, I am also uh, working on the tarot course to be released, released sometime in uh, April. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click on the little subscribe, please. Thank you so much. And the little bell so that you get notifications. We're going to let people know about the classes, courses, and we will be doing some traveling this summer. Um, likely to be doing some meet and greets kind of stuff, you know, try to, you know, see more people all over the place. So still in the planning stages, but those would be like mini retreats. So anyway, <laughs> air sign, what is going on for you? What is going on for you? I really would like to do another one in Maine, maybe in the fall. So <clears throat> put a pin in that one too, okay? All right, guys. So let's see what's going on here. Air sign. Keep shuffling, Mary Jo. Sometimes it's like... You gotta keep shuffling. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What's going on with you guys? Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, being persistent no matter what. Being persistent. Ace of Swords, right? Wheel. All right, so there's something here about, like, cutting yourself free of past um, resistance to relationships. Or, you know, there's something here. It's like cutting, you're cutting something free. It's destined to do this. All right, you're cutting something free. Oh, someone coming toward you for a relationship. Ooh, ah. Person could be a water sign. Could have met them during work. Or it's going to require work. Yeah, there's some kind of resistance here. There's some kind of resistance. There might be a third party, might be a Virgo here. I see you smack dab in the middle. <laughs> I like that. Uh, strength here. This person is in love with you. You've got choices, air sign. You have got choices over arching energy of this reading. I really like this stuff over here. Yeah, you got a lot of choices. Seven of cups here. So what's going on is like in the past, you might have been fighting for something or hanging on to something. And you're just like, you know what, I'm cutting it free. Just not going to do it anymore. Not going to fight for this thing anymore. Okay. And the re the letting go of the fighting for the thing. It could be fighting for an idea. Like this is what the relationship is supposed to look like. Right. You could be fighting for that idea. You could be fighting for love to come from a particular person. Right. There's there's um, whatever you were fighting for. It's like, you're not going to do it anymore. And the thing is that it's a destined thing to not fight for that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you struggling with that? We're trying to bring life, love into your life. You've got choices here. You really do. So this other person, seven of swords, two of cups, four of wands, they could be escaping from a situation. This could have started as a third party with you. Okay. But they're really bringing it. Okay. This, could, this is like a new person. Um, I want to get one around the Seven of Swords. What is that? King of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody who is who has a lot of magician. Somebody who has a lot of capability. Yep, they, they manifested you. And this did start as a third party or is starting right now. You could have cut loose somebody else. I feel like um, <clears throat> this is going on right now or is starting to go on. Water sign, earth sign. There could be two different people. The water sign uh, or the Virgo here. Last card is this, Knight of Pentacles. It's also like a recommendation to you to take it slow. Okay? Take this slow. I feel like in the past you haven't really... Um, Somebody didn't see your love. 
Somebody might have been depressed, whatever. This is you here. Knight of Cups, you have a lot to offer. Knight of Cups, Star, Eight of Pentacles. Very focused on your work. Just doing what you need to do. Doing what you need to do. There's no, <clears throat> this is really nice. There's there's a lot of love and, and <laughs> love and lust. Woo! All right, love and um, like uh, powerful passion here. Powerful passion. I feel like the person who's coming toward you right now, this king of, this uh, magician, king energy, really wants a re the real deal with you. Okay? Really wants the real deal. So you could have been fighting for a person in a third party, or you could have been fighting for a third party situation to continue. And in reality, what the universe is trying to deliver to you is not a third party. Like that person would leave that third party. You feel like that Seven of Swords. Here, let me try to get underneath all these cards. The Seven of Swords is like they're escaping something. Okay, they're escaping something to come toward you. There could be a lot of escapism. could be a lot of daydreaming. could be a lot of fantasy. Okay, but there is love here on both sides. This person is a king energy. And so four of cups, five of wands. So you're just sort of like, you've stopped fighting. You've stopped actively seeking out this, uh, either one of these two people. You've stopped doing that. And if you haven't, you should, because the idea here is to pull your energy in. Let them fight it out. Let them fight over you. You're no longer trying to be like, hey, look at me. Hey, hey, hi. You're not doing any of that. You don't need to. You do not need to. Okay? You do not need to. Let them fight over you. Let them fight over you. Yes. Seriously. All right, air sign. We're going to do an extended read. I'm going to use a separate deck here. Okay. Link is below. This is for March 26th. See you over there.